Professor well, Seymour Rocks, um, I would like to start this report off uh, by uh, just sharing a few headlines uh, in this kind of very, very um, uh, rapid moving saga. And what I would say from the outset is compared with a couple of days ago when I started um, reporting on this, um, that the uh, news media is just slowly, slowly starting to catch up with this, almost drip by drip. So let's just have a look at the uh, at uh, uh, some of the headlines. So um, this is uh, yeah Australia. It's reported five cases of coronavirus in 48 hours. A young Chinese woman has tested a poverty, the probable coronavirus in Sydney, bringing the total amount of cases in Australia to five in 48 hours. Her condition will be confirmed on, uh, on Tuesday, that's tomorrow. Uh, four other cases have been detected in New South Wales and a dozen more potential cases are being investigated. Um, this is from Zero Hedge. Uh, five, million, five million potential carriers have left Wuhan as coronavirus appears to mutate into more transmissible form. Um, so over the weekend, there were numerous media reports published in hopes of easing fears that the coronavirus spread was uncontained and informing the general public just how seriously China takes its quarantine of no less than 17 cities and roughly 60 million people. Take this report from AFP, according to which police at a roadblock at the outskirts of Wuhan turned away cars trying to leave the virus-stricken epicenter on Saturday as other anxious uh, residents trapped inside spent the Lunar New Year stocking up on masks and medical supplies. Um, authorities have prevented anyone from leaving Wuhan, a city of 11 million people at the heart of the viral outbreak, which has so far infected nearly 1,300 people and killed 41 others. A steady trickle of cars approaching the roadblocks around 20 kilometres east of the city uh, on Saturday morning, uh, only for police in fluorescent jackets wearing the masks to tell them to turn around. The barricade <coughs> at one of the <coughs> tolls uh, for highways exiting the city was blocked uh, with um, uh, red and yellow plastic barriers and cones. Nobody can leave except for the five million who have already, and they'll be floating somewhere around China or the world, uh, sp spreading the virus. So ain't that dandy. And then this is this just come out fairly recently from also from uh, Zero Hedge. The CDC calls coronavirus serious emerging public threat, health threat. Um, the fifth U.S. corona infection confirmed by CDC in four states. CDC calls the virus an emerging health threat, adding that the threat is serious. Um, 2,082 cases, 58 official deaths. Incubation is asymptomatic, contagious, and could be as long as 14 days. Five million may have left Wuhan for Lunar New Year. The first case was December the 1st, not December the 31st, so inf infection pop may be much bigger. US, Russia, Thailand begin plans for evacuation, and I have been told, I haven't picked up this myself, is that uh, New Zealand has no plans to evacuate anybody. Uh, Premier uh, Lee Ke Chiang, has been charged with leading the government's task force and three Beijing hospitals using AIDS drugs to treat the virus. Now that's a pretty good uh, summary of things as they stand. Uh, now Chris Martinson has made a video um, talking about exactly what it is and I've since learned that Chris, uh, in addition to being 
uh, an expert on things financial and um, resource depletion, has a PhD in virology. So he's uniquely uh, equipped, even though he's not a current practitioner, he knows what he's talking about. And uh, this US prepares emergency evacuation of Americans from epidemic, epidemic stricken Chinese city. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that, uh, that um, uh, New Zealand has any plans to do anything of the sort. They obviously don't think it's a problem. Um, yeah, so those are some of the headlines. When I look at these next two uh, headlines um, in our local uh, New Zealand media, I just have to kind of, yeah, wonder which universe I, I live in. So let's just go and have a have a look. So oh, this is the first one. Uh, this is from News Hub, which is TV3. Coronavirus outbreak. Chinese tourists on the same flight as person with deadly illness arrive in New Zealand. Uh, what? What did they just say? And uh, this is this is uh, this is worthy of the Soviet um, Pravda. It really is. Uh, Essentially, it's an all in one paragraph. A group of Chinese tourists who are on the same flight as a person with the deadly coronavirus have arrived in New Zealand. That's all that's said about it. There are now more than 2,000 cases, blah, blah, blah. Health Minister David Clark confirmed to the AM show on Monday some passengers had travelled to Australia along with an infected person before coming to New Zealand. People arriving in New Zealand from China will now be screened as they spread of the virus shows no signs of slowing down. Uh, he says the situation is being closely watched, adding those tourists who arrived at the country had been checked by St. John's staff for symptoms. Uh, the vast majority were clear. Those that had minor snivels have been monitored and are going to continue to be monitored by St. John. Uh, well, that could mean anything, you know, a weekly visit or something. Uh, my understanding is that they've voluntarily kept to themselves and that they're being monitored by all health services. We think it's very unlikely that they have this condition at all. Really? Clark said it had been a rapidly evolving situation. We're still finding out more about this virus as it goes on. They're moving in step with the, what the clinical experts tell us. All the of the time, we have different things arriving in New Zealand and we're taking the steps that the medical experts tell us are the right things to do. If, as a fifth case of the virus has appeared across the ditch, Australian correspondent Jason Morris told the AM show, it's likely more will emerge. And uh, then there's this from Radio New Zealand. Even worse, uh, this China Corona virus screening, looking for a needle in a haystack. No passengers on flights from China to Auckland this morning volunteered to be checked by medical staff. I mean, what the fuck? And health authorities have no powers to quarantine anyone suspected of having the new coronavirus. Well, what's to say that the government can't quickly draw up regulations in what is an emergency? So this morning, health professionals were for the first time standing at the ready at Christchurch and Auckland airports to screen passengers from flights arriving from China. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, yeah, Auckland Regional Public Health Service Director and Incident Controller William Ranger told Nine to Noon that no one had volunteered to be checked so far today and the authorities had no power to compel them to, even if someone was suspected of having the disease. Technically, it is not quarantinable that we would be working with suspected cases and people who had been exposed to the suspected cases and asking them to stay in isolation for a period of time 
and would su support them in that. So, and so it goes on. Um, yeah, I mean, the mind boggles. Of course, these um, people are relying on the World Health Organization and the information that I have uh, uh, from my sort of brief perusal of the media is that the Chinese discovered this not at the end of December as was originally said, but at the beginning of December, and that this information had been communicated to the WHO. Uh, so that means not only the Chinese, this is more, uh, but the uh, WHO have been sitting on their hands, refusing to declare an emergency. And of course, these are the messages that are coming down the line. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, it's incredible, really. Anyway. Um, I found the following um, material from China, a lot of it, has come out and of course there's no English but uh, someone uh, it's on a Twitter account called Himalaya Global has very kindly uh, translated a lot of the material into English and I got it uh, picked it up uh, from um, a video channel called Outer Light and so uh, have a look at this <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 也没严重还没还待不待口槽都当是消失可能是现在不还是这个魔情况倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒了倒
，但是真不让我们开始织，根本谁我物资都没有。<笑>他们想专想办专都办不了，<笑>我觉得后续完全不行。我们在这上一天班，整个人的心里都快崩溃了，都你受不了了。他们在这求我们的时候，我们都一点办法都没得，就看到一个好生生的人，叫他慢慢的都都不行。所以你们在屋里一定要做好防护，千万千万不要等到时候相信政府，我觉得都是全部都得要靠自己。各位长辈们，我是金辉，我目前还在武汉汉口这个疫区，我向大家汇报一下，目前我们整个湖北。甚至全国的疫情情况，现在已经有九万多人次。这个病毒的传染几率是多少呢？就是一个人传染之后，如果说他没有被有效的隔离的话，或者说进行有效的治疗的话，他会传染到他身边的十四个人。那么这个基数就很大了。现在正值春节假期之际。天南地北的亲戚朋友、子女都往家里赶，都是为了合家团圆，在一起吃一顿团年饭。现在情况特殊，我希望大家不要出门，不要聚会，不要聚餐，春节年年有。只要人平安，大家都可以随时随地的在一起。That is not gunfire; it's fireworks going off. Okay, so you can see by that video, there seems to be a lot going on there. As I stated before, uh, this next piece, um, which is, I've got a fuller version of this now, um, but it raises real questions about what the nature of this virus is, and it, um, it really does question the official narrative that's coming out of the Chinese, uh, out of the World Health Organization, out of the media, out of the various health authorities. Because if you look at this and you see someone who's just sort of standing normally as far as we can see, and then he just keels over and falls onto his face. Um, now, that I've received some information, uh, which is, of course, uncorroborated, uh, but makes sort of sense of what we're actually seeing. And that is um, that um, people who contract this, they get flu symptoms, all the ones that people are looking for after the 14 days incubation. Um, and then we've seen reports that they've suddenly made a a recovery and that's what apparently what happens they appear to make a recovery and then suddenly bang um, the disease uh, hits their kidneys and their central nervous system and they die uh, very very rapidly um, now that is not the behavior of a normal um, uh, virus I mean I'm no expert I'm open to correction and even of a virus that's rapidly mutating. Um, that's what I would sort of expect to see perhaps in a bioweapon. And well, who's to say? This is, this is a pure speculation. Uh, what if the, um, the, uh, the coronavirus, the flu virus, is being used as a vehicle uh, for a um, a bioweapon, which just uh, coincidentally uh, 
seems to attack mostly males and not women and seemingly not uh, not children. Although, I mean, I'm not sure about any of that. So, yeah, so just watch this with it in mind. Late yesterday, I um, I found these uh, tweets that were uh, came out from uh, someone in America. His name is Dr. Eric Feigl uh, Ding, and um, he painted a very very dire picture with a series of tweets on Twitter, uh, and then of course. I went searching for him so I could follow him and I tried every permutation in the book to try and find him and I couldn't. There were no suggestions that came up. Uh, and then finally I went through, there were indirect references and then finally I found a, a link uh, that linked directly to his account and so I managed to find it. So that means that this man who's a Harvard University um, a professor, an expert in epidemiology, and has worked with the World Health Organization, 
appears to me uh, to have been uh, shadow banned. So let's just have a look at a couple of his of his tweets. I really recommend that you do uh, go and have a look for yourself. Okay, so uh, yeah, he's got many, many uh, tweets, but this is the first one, his introduction. Holy mother of God, the new coronavirus is a 3.8. How bad is that reproductive RO value? Uh, it's thermonuclear pandemic level bad. Never seen an actual virility coefficient outside of Twitter in my entire career. I'm not exaggerating. And what he means that is the uh, the, the rate at which uh, you know the the disease uh, can be uh, can be caught. And uh, of course, everyone tried to call him a fear monger. He said, my response to some people who think that I'm trying to stoke up fear, I'm a Harvard trained scientist with a doctorate in epidemiology and the youngest dual doctorate grad from Harvard SPH. Uh, some folks think I'm trying to incite fire, fire fear. I'm not trying. I'm a scientist. This coronavirus, Wuhan coronavirus is serious. Over 50 million people are quarantined plus case counts will go up much more predict WHO will declare emergency. Let's hope for the best, uh, prepared for the worst. Late yesterday, I, um, I found these uh, tweets that were, uh, came out from uh, someone in America. His name is Dr. Eric Feigl. Uh, thing, and um, he painted a very, very dire picture with a series of tweets on Twitter. Uh, and then, of course, I went searching for him so I could follow him, and I tried every permutation in the book to try and find him, and I couldn't. There were no suggestions that came up. Uh, and then finally, I went through, there were indirect references, and then finally I found a, a link uh, that linked directly to his account, and so I managed to find it. So that means that this man, who's a Harvard University um, professor, an expert in epidemiology, and has worked with the World Health Organization, appears to me... Uh, to have been uh, shadow banned. So let's just have a look at a couple of his, of his tweets. I really recommend that you do uh, go and have a look for yourself. Okay, so uh, yeah, he's got many, many uh, tweets, but this is the first one, his introduction. Holy mother of God, the new coronavirus is a 3.8. How bad is that reproductive RO value? Uh, it's thermonuclear pandemic level bad. Never seen an actual virility coefficient outside of Twitter in my entire career. I'm not exaggerating. And what he means that is the, uh, the, the rate at which uh, you know, the, the disease uh, can, be, uh, can be caught. And... Uh, of course, everyone tried to call him a fear monger. He said, my response to some people who think that I'm trying to stoke up fear, I'm a Harvard trained scientist with a doctorate in epidemiology and the youngest dual doctorate grad from Harvard SPH. Uh, some folks think I'm trying to incite fire, fire fear. I'm not trying. I'm a scientist. This coronavirus, Wuhan coronavirus, is serious. Over 50 million people are quarantined, plus case counts will go up much more. Predict WHO will declare emergency. Let's hope for the best, uh, prepared for the worst.